In this video, we're gonna learn to use edit form to delete data. Specifically, we're trying to manage servers, so we're gonna use edit form to delete a server. We need to use edit form to delete the server because we are working with Blazor SSR. So let's first of all try not to use the form to delete a server and see what happens. Okay, so this is the server's component, and this is the server list here. And then we try to add a button here so ampersign mbsp add a space then we try to add a button here and let's give it a class so bootstrap primary button i'm going to call it delete and now we'll try to handle the event which is on click event and inside the event we're going to call the delete server function which we haven't created yet but that's fine we can use it and then we can add later here we just need to provide server.server id right so we are deleting this particular server so here in order to call a function like this we need to use explicit reason expression so add sign parenthesis and inside it we're gonna use arrow function just like this finish that with the semicolon and finish everything with a curly brace here now we just need to implement this delete server function here so we go down void delete server and then it accept a server id now inside it if the server id is greater than zero we're going to use the server's repository to delete the server so just like this if we try to run debug okay, set a breakpoint here and try to run debug and let's go to manage servers and we see our delete button right here and let's try to click on the last one and you can see whichever button i click on there's no response why because this is a considered interaction because traditionally you will have to handle this click event with javascript here this is blazor ssr static server-side rendering it's only server-side there's no interactivity at all and we are not using javascript so the button wouldn't work that's why i said that we need to use a form right we need to use a form and we put a submit button inside it so that we can use the form to submit the server id back to the server right to the to the server code block over here and then we can use this function to actually handle the, the delete event right for that let's stop debugging and try to add a form inside it here we are going to use a added form for added form we will have to have a model and this model is going to be the server which comes from this for each loop and then second thing that is required is the form name and because we are in a loop if i just say form server then it's going to create multiple added form with the same form name and that's not allowed it's not going to work when you try to click the submit button so therefore we are going to use explicit reader expression to actually come up with different form names based on the server id we are going to use string interpolation inside it so here i'm going to say server dot server id this way the form name is going to be unique because it's based on the server id and we know the id is unique another thing we need to do is to handle the unvalid submit event and this is where we can just use this and copy this and paste it over here all right so when we submit we just need to call the delete server function to handle the form submission event right and the server id just comes from inside as the function parameter it doesn't actually come from the form field data and then inside edit form we need to have a submit button so we can use this button to cut it and put it inside and instead of button the type of the button is going to be submit and we don't need to have the event handler anymore so let's delete this and this is going to be called delete this is it right so when we click on this delete button because the submit button is going to submit the form back again to the server and it's going to use this url so therefore it comes back to this delete server function with the server id provided 
and it's going to actually delete the server. Okay, let's try to set a breakpoint here and run debug again. All right, let's go to manage servers and we see this delete button here. So there is a line break over here uh, and that's fine. Later, we're going to convert this an order list to maybe a table. So at the time, everything will look better. Right now, we just we can click on this delete server number four, click on it, and we can see that this delete server event is triggered. And we hover the mouse over it, you can see the server ID is number four. And that means we got the data and we can delete the server. So we can step into it and try to delete the server. Now, if I continue and we come back, we can see the server four is still here. Why? It's because the page is not refreshed. So let's say we go to weather and then come back to manage servers. You can see the server four is actually deleted. And let's try number three. Breakpoint is also triggered. Let's continue and come back over here again. We got to refresh the page manually now and we can see server three is also deleted. So in order to refresh the page, we can use the navigation manager. And again, to use navigation manager, we need to do dependency injection. So we inject navigation manager into our component, just like this. And then over here, we can try to use refresh. Okay. Although last time when I tried it, there is a bug. So I think Microsoft is trying to fix this issue, but uh, let's try to run it and see whether they have fixed it already or not. So let's go to manage servers and try to click on delete and we got the same problem that i got last time not implemented exception All right so until they fix it we cannot use refresh yet for blazor ssr at least so let's change this to navigate to and what are we trying to navigate to we're basically just going back to the same page component right so basically just come back over to slash servers and that's it let's try to run the application again go to manage servers click on delete number four and see number four is deleted click on delete number two number two is deleted we only have server one and server three and if we try to refresh let's go to weather come back to manage servers you can see number two and number four are truly deleted this is how we can use edit form to delete a server I just want to mention that another reason why we use edit form instead of a anchor link, right? In theory, we can create an anchor link and create another page component and redirect just like this, redirect to that page component in order to run this delete function. When we do that, it's going to work, but it's not a good practice. Because the edit form, when we submit the form, clicking on the button, submit the form, it's a HTTP post and the data is not visible. Whereas if you have an anchor link like this, it's going to be stored in the browser history. So people will be able to find the URL for delete server. And they can actually manually type in that URL in order to actually delete your data. So therefore, for deleting data, it's better to use a HTTP post to perform the action for security purpose. Later, when we add interactivity, we don't actually have to use edit form. We can just actually handle the click event like I just showed you at the beginning of this video. But here, if you just want to use Blazor SSR to complete the work, no problem. Just use edit form to submit the information back to the server, right? and it's going to be the same page just define a function to handle the event delete the data and use navigation manager to refresh the page and you are good all right that's everything i want to cover in this video if any questions please let me know if not i will see you in the next one